Hey, it's Marlene. I was going to do a review on my new Leica 12 to 60 millimeter f2.8 to f4 lens that I recently purchased. Now I know a lot of you who have a Lumix G9 got this lens as part of your kit, but it's new to me. Now I was going to do a full review, but I realized I'd never done a sharpness test. And by that, I mean, which aperture is your sharpest? So I'm going to show you that right now. Now, if this is brand new information for you and you appreciate what I do, you can buy me a coffee. The link is in the video description below. And I thank you so much to all of you who've bought me coffees so far. It's amazing the support that I'm receiving from all of you. So thank you very much. So what do you need for your test? Well, you need a target. Now you don't have to go out and buy a specific target for sharpness. So what I suggest is get a piece of paper with some fine type, which is maybe printed on a laser printer that has good contrast. You need a tripod because you don't want your camera to move during your test and you need a light source. Now, if you don't have LED lights or a light source to use, I suggest you just use window light and pick a day where it's fairly bright outside. Doesn't matter if it's overcast, doesn't matter if it's sunny, but you want the light to be constant. So here's the steps for your sharpness test. Make sure your camera is 100% level. You want to be parallel to your target. Now, if you have a Lumix camera, you have a built-in level. So you can press the display button until it appears. Now I suggest you use pinpoint focus aimed at the type in the center of your target not the white space. Make sure you're actually focusing on the type. Photograph your target at each whole f-stop. For whatever lens you're using, start at your largest f-stop. And in the case of this lens, it's f2.8. And then you go up to f4. You can also shoot it in one-third f-stop increments for more precision. Now you're going to have to adjust your shutter speed accordingly. So I suggest you either shoot in aperture priority or you shoot in manual mode. It's whatever works for you. Aperture priority is just fine. Now you refocus on the same spot for every photo just in case your camera moved. Now I tried both manual and autofocus and had the same results. The key is to be in focus. Now I shot these tethered but you can shoot tethered or use the self timer so that you don't touch your camera when shooting. Because if you get into long shutter speeds, you might get some camera shake, some vibration, and you want your camera to be perfectly still. So if you have a Lumix G9 or any camera that allows you to have like a short self timer, set it up for like two seconds or something like that. That works fine. Now I suggest if you're using a zoom lens like the 12 to 60 millimeter that you're going to want to test at different focal lengths along the zoom range. And then when you're done shooting, you want to compare your sharpness at each f-stop. So import your photos into your computer and look at them at 100% or 200%. So review your images and determine which one was the sharpest f-stop. You might be surprised at how unsharp your lens looks at small f-stops, like where you get deep depth of field. Now you're going to need to do this test for all of your lenses because every lens has a different sweet spot. Generally speaking, the sharpest f-stop is usually a couple of f-stops smaller than your largest f-stop. So in the case of the 12 to 60 millimeter lens, the largest f-stop at 12 millimeters is f2.8. So you would expect to find that around f4 or f5.6, somewhere in that range would be your sharpest f-stop. But of course, it's very specific to your lens. So make sure you test it and not rely on what other people say. So when you're reviewing your photos of the sharpness test, not only do you want to check the middle of your picture, but you want to check the edges, the corners of your frame as well. Now, why does this matter? Well, perhaps you're doing client work and it's mission critical. Perhaps it's a catalog of images. Perhaps you're doing large prints that are going somewhere, maybe in an art gallery or something like that. So in those cases, you definitely want the best sharpness of your images and you wanna do this testing beforehand to make sure that when you're shooting, you plan ahead. You plan ahead for the best f-stop at certain focal lengths with certain lenses. 
Now don't confuse sharpness, which is a measure of resolving power, with depth of field. Depth of field is how much of your scene is in focus or how much of your subject is in focus from front to back. Let me know in the comments what your sweet spot is on your various lenses.